everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we fought Dine behind the Corral prison, and set ourselves free by winning a Chocobo race. Where we then received this buggy here from Dio, the owner of the Gold Saucer. This time, we're going to be going ahead and making our way back around the entire world. Now that we have uh, Ketchi and his manipulate materia, we can now go ahead and manipulate enemies that can uh, grant us passive enemy skills. Now, passive enemy skills aren't the first thing that we have here. Um, first of all, we have this desert here, which the buggy does allow us to travel in. And you're not the enemy we're looking for, but I guess I can take this time to show off Ketchi's Limit Break. Um, Ketchi is a, has a luck-based uh, Limit Breaks, like the dice here. Higher the roll, the, the more damage. So that just did a thousand damage. Congrats. Um, I should also just go through and change limit breaks and stuff. We want to go ahead and change the movesets and, like, materia around. Movesets. Why did I say movesets? But yeah, go ahead and change around materia because now that we're not in, like, any 1v1 type situation, we really don't need that type of stuff. Um, yeah. Barrett, you can go ahead and heal up Cloud right now, because we are just getting hit by all, all kinds of stuff. Let's go ahead and test out that. Let's go ahead and use that. Not on Barrett! Not on Barrett! Not on Barrett! Why? Barrett, this is gonna hurt. And that doesn't even give me anything. I'm just gonna cure that off. We'll barely have enough MP left after this. Now let's attack the right enemy cloud. This way we don't have to go back and restore our own HP. Yes, stupid me. Just gonna and kill. Ten damage, nice. I'm gonna attack you. I think at this point we should just physical attack. We should just attack this guy physically because like our attacks are. Well, I definitely made the great decision doing that if we just landed a crit. I'm going to see you guys when we go ahead and shift around our equipment. Alright, going ahead and swapped out some equipment. Let's go ahead and see what everyone's looking like. I decided to switch out Ketchi for Red 13, seeing as we haven't seen him in a little bit. But anyway, I decided to equip the first one of our enemy skill materials onto Cloud, as we're going to be needing that. We're also going to be, um... Showing off the summon for Ramu, as we just got him in the last episode. We ha I gave Cloud the Manipulate Materia. Restore all for healing, and we got steals in case there's something we want to steal. That's for good measure. Red 13, I decided to give Earth all, Lightning, Poison, and then Ice Elemental. And then Barret, I have design. I have um, to be my little to be my tank. I gave him the revive materia with an awl, just in case two people get um, get knocked out, because we are fighting a very dangerous creature today. The other enemy skill, seal, so we can put it to sleep, fire, awl, and cover. That is pretty much all I think we are going to need. We are going to have a very dangerous time with some enemies, but before we do anything, let's go ahead and backtrack. Another unique property about the buggy is, is that it can travel over these light blue waters. So, yeah, we now have much better transportation than we did last time. We don't have to go over an entire mountain range just to get from Costa Del Salt. Alright, and we're back. Um, yeah, it's gotten into another random encounter. But anyway, if you put if you put the buggy into your... If you're still in the buggy and you run into, a, like, a town... Um, you will technically have the buggy if you go into set town, so what you can do is, is that you can come back on the boat here, and then you can go back to Junion, and you'll have the buggy with you. The 100 Gil Junion, and we're going there, because a lot of the things we have to do is on our way there. Now, there were some enemy skills that I missed on my way, um, back over to Costa Del Sol, but we'll go ahead and pick those up on our way back, seeing as... Well, yeah, we kind of have to go back to the gold saucer to progress with plot. So, yeah. 
that's pretty much that. Back over to Junion. And in case you're wondering how I'm about to get back into the, um, how I'm going to get back down to the lower Junion, because the route that we took to get up there was very different. Well, it's very simple, because we're now back here where we did the um, minigame where we got the Force Dealer. We come on back here and just traverse through the town. When you finally make it back into this room right here, where you shove into that locker room, you come on over here, head to the right, where you'll be taken down to this elevator, where you can just go ahead and take it down, and that will take you directly to the lower Jinyan. And we're now back. I'm gonna head on out. And that takes, you, and that takes us over to this gateway over here. So now that we're out of, um, so now that we're out he back here in Lower Junion, um, I should go ahead and just say this right now. There are quite a few things we can do here. Yep, see, we got our buggy. So back out here in the hub world, there's quite a few things to do we're back here in the Junion area. Um, one of which being an enemy skill, so if I can just go ahead and find the enemy that... Possesses the skill. That would be very nice. Are you it? No, you're not. Holy crap, we got him. Alright. So, let's go ahead and manipulate you. And let's go ahead and just take care of these guys down here. Just to get rid of them. Um, yeah, let's just take care of this guy down here. Dang it. Yeah, manipulates kind of like steel in that regard. We saw it back when we were in Corral Prison. But this is pretty much what it is, pretty much. So now that he's the only one here, can we... Nope. There it is. Okay. Cloud does. Great. Okay. That's not good to have at all. Oh, it looks like he's in the air now. Um, there we go. We got him. Alright. So, the enemy skill that we have here. White Wind. Uh, wow. I have finally ran into another one. Hopefully this one decides it's not going to use its MP up already. Come on. Okay, we got him. So now, the true prize here is, an, is the enemy skill, White Wind. This will, this will restore the same amount of HP as the person who casted it. So yeah, we kind of, so yeah, we have another healing move. And it's already out of MP. Guess we can just... Well, if you can't attack it... Guess we will. Go and use low MP fire. And that's it. So that's the White Wind enemy skill. So... That's one of two things that we have here in Junion. The other thing is right around here. If you cross this little river right here, and come in here, you can find a little secret cave. This guy. You escape 25 tons. So this guy has a very important item for us, and I want to get that. However, the way that you get this item is that you have to do a, perform a certain action a certain amount of times, and it has to be like with, and it has to have, um, it has to be a double-digit number that has the same number 
for both digits. So it has to be like 11, 22, 33, yeah, you know. So, I'm gonna be back once I do that. Alright, go on and got the 33 battles. Um. Wow, he won't even talk to me, okay. So silly me got the got the wrong idea. It was the to it was the double it was um two double digits with the same the same number of battles, not escapes. So we ended up getting the mithril, but yeah, it came at a price. Um, nothing happened sadly while I was there, so. Whoops. So before we go on ahead and deal with um what we're really here to deal with. Um I'll just be the one to tell you. Let me just say this. Let's just go on ahead and go to the eastern continent. Eastern. We are on the eastern continent. Let's go to the western continent. God, I really cannot speak. I'll see you guys there. So back over here by Costa del Sol, we have these beaches right here. We have this beach right here. It's a nice layer of sand. Well, if you coast right on it, there's one encounter here that you can actually nab an enemy skull from. These things! Oh, this enemy skill is a must. You want this enemy skill. Because what this is going to give us, if I can... This enemy skill here, Big Guard. This this will cast not only Haste, but it'll, also, it'll cast Haste, Barrier, and M Barrier on the entire party. So, yeah, make sure you go out of your way to get this Materia. You want it. This is your friend. But that's pretty much it. And for these guys, we get the big guard enemy skill. This will be a very important enemy skill for most bosses. But now we actually take advantage of that barrier meter. I'll go ahead and see you over by the gold saucer. So over here by the gold saucer, there is one particular enemy we want to encounter for a very powerful offensive enemy skill. This enemy is ridiculously strong. And yes, we got him. Alright, let's go ahead and manipulate you so we can just make this ten times easier. Poison Storm, that is going to inflict poison on Barrett. Great. But we got him, so now we can just make this a, a, like a hell of a lot easier. Aqualung is a very powerful water um, water enemy skill. It does that much damage. It's that powerful. And now we're just going to run like full on limit. Stardust Ray away. Yeah, that's how powerful Aqualung is, and that is going to be very useful in our upcoming fight. Which, speaking of which, I have to backtrack all the way back to the Grasslands area. Ugh. I'll see you guys then. And we're now here at the Grasslands area, and I think now you can see what we're about to rematch. We're about to rematch the mid Garzolum. Let's go and make sure we have everything ready. This is going to be one deadly battle, even for my current levels, so this is, let's, let's go, let's do it. Alright, so Midgar's all of them, this beast. Let's go ahead and test out our new summon, Ramu. Um, once Cloud gets finished getting attacked by the giant sea serpent. That's not even a sea serpent, but anyway. Judgment Bolt! Ramu is a lightning-based 
um, summon. So, pretty much, we now have the entire trio. We have fire, ice, and now lightning. That was a little bit of damage. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cast Big Guard up with Barret because that is the best chance that we have of surviving something like from this thing. We're going to go in with an we're going to go for an enemy skull with Cloud just because we're going to go with for the White Wind. Um another a side effect for Big Guard is is that um magic like cure will ignore um Yeah, magic is going to get ignore um what am I trying to say here? It'll, it'll, um, White Wind will ignore the barriers, but it won't ignore, um, but White Wind is not ignored, so you can just go ahead and cast White Wind for free. Uh, what do I want to do here? I definitely want to attack you with Red 13. Uh, I also want to cast up another Big Guard, because... Because what you have, because what this thing has is very, very, like, straight up rude. Cast up another White Wind. Um, but the reason why we're just stalling here against Midgar Zolom, um, this guy, of all things, has an enemy skill. And I really want the enemy skill, because it's a very good one. So hopefully you can go on ahead and uh, use this right, um, anytime now, bud. Not like it matters anyway, because we probably can't take another one after this. Just going to cast up Big Guard. Kind of need Red 13 to do his thing. Mm. Probably going for White Wind. So we can take some damage. Uh, use an Ether on Barret. You know, I really want you to use this, um, attack. Um, Cloud, you go for one on yourself, because we're kind of need that on you. Jeez. Uh, Barrett can also use White Wind himself, so we can just go ahead and do that. You were in, like, dire need at this point. Oh, okay. Cast a big guard ASAP. Barret, we're going for another White Wind. Red 13 going for Blood Fang. All three of us have limit breaks, so we should be good enough. Hopefully, you decide you're going to go in for your attack, because I really, really want what you have. Let's cast Ice 2 on the Gurzolan. Because I'm not sure if he's going to go for his um, attack. Yep, there it is. The Tail Swipe. Now it is just Cloud and Barret. And. Okay. Um, we need to cast Big Guard immediately. Cloud needs to go for White Wind because. What's coming up next? Oh god. This next attack is just straight up mean. Like, y you want to have, like, proper anything, really. Because... This isn't about to be great. Cloud, use, li use your limit break. Barret, I'm gonna hold on. Big guard. Crap! There it is! Beta! But we got it. And now all you need to do from here is just win this fight. Um, Cloud is very low on HP, so we're gonna go in for Cure 2. But yeah, that's the enemy skill from Midgar Zolom. Beta. And... Oh, Jesus. This is very... Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, no. Especially after I... 
We might have to go for Aqualung. Because, like, I can recover up this turn. Back to max. I think we're, we should both go for ethers on ourselves. This makes this easier for us. I don't think we should be going for another beta. Even then, we, we are, we both, like, I already know that, um, we can take it. Um, uh, let's go in for Aqualung. On both of you. And with a nice 1,000 damage from Aqualung, Midgar's Olam is defeated. Oh, that's a very tough battle. Um, also, Red 13 does not get the experience because he just got knocked out of the battle. Um, anyway, upon defeating an, uh, one Midgar's Olam, another one will respawn, so you can't just, like, defeat one and you're done. You actually have to defeat an entire series of them in order to get to the other side on foot. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much this. I want to see you back at the Gold Saucer. And we're back to the Gold Saucer. On the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, we're going to proceed to the village of Gungaga, like Dio suggested to us. See you guys then.